So I have no idea how I missed this. And actually, you know what? Let me. Yep. Okay. No, definitely didn't. Uh, definitely, definitely didn't do this one. Haven't done it yet. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you probably know that I'm a pretty big Polyphia. Poly yeah, yeah, that one. Polyphia fan. <laughs> Tried to say Polyphia, as in Polyphia and Periphery. I'm a fan of both of those bands and would definitely be a fan of that collab. But that's not the collab we're talking about today. The collab we're talking about today is how did I not know that band that freaking baby metal and Polyphia made a song together and I just didn't, I did, you know, it's one of the like the wild things about doing things the way that I do them is that I, it's so haphazard in so many ways, but it's fortuitous also because I haven't heard this song yet. And there's now apparently a live version with the fucking Polyphia. So I'm hyped. I'm, I'm real hyped about this. Cause again, I love Polyphia. And I love baby metal. And this, I can already tell, is going to go so unreasonably hard that I can't, we can't even wait anymore. We can't even wait. It's just time. We, we got to go. I got to check the audio first. Yeah, the audio wasn't correct. Okay, good to go. Here's the song. Oh, no. No. Okay, so he, I, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. What? A, what? What is this? Okay, so, uh, 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 Polyphia has such a distinct sound, and I don't. I don't know. I don't have. I'm. You. You broke me. I'm broken. Uh, 40, 40 seconds in. I'm broken. I'm fucking broken. You hear me? God damn it. Sorry. Oh, I know that. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't. I don't have words yet. It's not. It's not okay. gonna pause there just because I want to comment on again like the use of silence is so powerful it's one of the things that that Polyphia does best in my opinion a lot of the bands that I like have this thing like I have things that I like and so all of the bands that I like typically are emblematic of the things that I like in some way and the way that Polyphia uses silence is extraordinary and it's it's its own musical instrument and i think that's on full display right here okay hold on okay we're gonna keep going oh we'll get there
God, I love it. Uh. Those accents are so powerful. Quality solo there. Oh, I love it. Holy shit! Damn it! <gasps> okay, so oh, what, 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 what? So one of the things that I love about Polyphia is that uh, you can hear how talented, how skilled they are, but somehow they manage to never overplay. And I think this song is a perfect example of that. There's some there's some hook in the beginning with the guitar line, and then the uh, the chorus itself has this syncopation to it that's really powerful. And then I love the guitar accompaniment during the I think the second and the third verses. And then you have this this guitar solo again. So everything just fits together so cleanly. I, it, it's like they were made. For each other i don't i don't know how i miss this but i'm very happy okay all right okay all right we can do this here's a live version Love the lights. Mm. Hype. Nah, -uh. no, stop it. I can't. It's it's too much. Ah! Holy fuck, that sounds so good.
Alright, chills! Just everywhere! Okay, 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 okay. I just, I do want to comment on a couple of things. The, 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 I mean, the live version sounds amazing. Everything is, like, mixed perfectly. Um, I just, like, I just, I just, I, okay, I'm at a loss for words, apparently, about what is actually happening. Um, so, the, that's, that's it, the. Oh, I love it, man! The guitar, it's so good! God damn, Sue! Okay, so I do want to pause there, and I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit, because the, during the studio version, I'm listening to the solo, and I'm like, ah, oh, that kind of sounds like um, Scott, and then it switches over, and I'm like, oh yeah, that is almost certainly Tim. You can tell uh, Tim has this obsession with pinch harmonics that is just, it's, it's, it, uh, it I don't know, I, I, like, I play guitar a little bit, I don't know how he does it, it's just... <sighs> love it love it but you can definitely tell and maybe i should have commented on it but i was a little beside myself <laughs> at the time okay all right we'll go back a little bit we'll start the solo over again It's insane, man! Oh, God. Oh, the little snap. Oh, beautiful.
Damn. Listen, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I do not actually know what to say about that. I mean, it's everything you come to expect from both bands. And then, uh, 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 like, you can't tell where one ends and the other begins. I had a moment where I was like, oh, this kind of sounds like a Polyphia song with baby metal. And I'm like, well, but what, what's, where is it? (laughs) Where's the defining... How do you draw that? You can't because the, the, uh, all right. All right. All right. I'm gonna need a minute. So I guess I do want to make a couple of general comments. I mean, the, the bass and the guitar specifically, or not the, not the, the bass guitar and the drums in this did an exceptional job of laying the foundation and I, you could feel their presence through the whole thing, right? Right. So they provided the ground for it, but they never stole any of the spotlight, which is really cool because it's it's all about I would you know I would say contrast, but I say that word a lot. So especially with the collaboration like this, I think that there's a Mm. There's actually, I think, a specific problem that you have with a collaboration like this because you have some of the most talented musicians on the planet collaborating in one of the most technical genres that exist in progressive metal. And so the problem that you have is how much do you leave out, right? So it's it's a problem of negation rather than a problem of how okay so how do we get these parts to function it's like no no everybody knows what they're doing and they do it to the highest level so the problem uh, the problem becomes what do you separate out how do you how do you create the contrast that that is still true to both bands and to the audience that you're aiming at and i think that they, like this is a master class on how to do that if you lift, if you've listened to Polyphia at all, you know that this is not the hardest that they go in terms of technique and shredding up and down the neck. And so the 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 drums and the bass specifically did an exceptional job of setting the tone of the track being, okay, this is going to be, we're not going to overplay anything. In fact, we're going to start from this really rooted, really grounded foundation and allow what wants to be to emerge of its own without forcing anything, right? So, so in that, in that way, you get the more reserved solos. They're not really reserved. They're shorter, I would say. And you get like, I, I, one of the things that struck me was that I I could hear Sue, but my attention wasn't on her like it normally is with baby metal. It was on the it was on the whole production of the thing. It was on the 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 collaboration itself. What it means to me as a fan of both of these bands, and I think that that's something that's very special that they were able to accomplish with this. And the I mean the live version was just absolutely stunning. The the choreography, the light show, uh, just all of it on point as always with Baby Metal. So, yeah, that's kind of where I am with the track. I think it's I I would love I like I don't know how I missed this in the beginning, and I I I want more of this because it was phenomenal. So. Uh, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. So uh, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you in the comment section.